I'm Tia. Hey, I'm Maisie. So glad you're here to join us and talk about the show Lego Friends. We have lots of laughs, but we watch typical everyday things that the friends do. They have silly moments, cringy behaviours, and yet still sometimes manage to pull off some pretty stellar achievements, despite being far from perfect. <laughs> There's a competition, and the students are struggling to decide who to vote for for the school election. When this episode started, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Aaliyah. It seems so awkward and intense for Aaliyah. This is a nightmare, literally. What? Why does the principal look so, like, scary? <laughs> the whole student council is waiting to hear your project. Well, where is it? I feel like this is my worst fear if you don't have your homework. Half an hour detention at my school if you don't have your homework. Mine's not having my hair done properly. My hair goes frizzy when I'm stressed. <gasps> you don't even have an idea. I feel like Brad is just Heart Lake High's pick me boy. I just need more time. Aaliyah, time to wake up. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Calendar reminder. See, I knew it had to be a nightmare. The teachers couldn't have been that mean. Yeah, their school is perfect. <laughs> it's too bad that the nightmare continues when she gets to school. And it's only Monday. Mondays. Yay. What do you, Aaliyah, want to pitch to the student council? Brilliant arts, incredible science. So they do have normal classes. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Hartnett Kai is amazing. They have so much fun stuff there. I'd like to move into that school. There's nothing to improve. I'm going to get us go-karts to get from class to class. Brad is suggesting go-karts. That is 100% my kind of school. Yeah, I don't like this guy, but go-karts are my thing. Sometimes it feels like lies can get you where you want to go faster, but it doesn't always turn out well in the end. We'll have to see where it goes for Brad. Has anyone ever told you a lie? My mom told me I could dance. I feel like my sister wins this one because she told me that she had got me a birthday present and she was like four at the time. She ended up giving me an old crayon that she found under her wardrobe and she actually made me wrap it for my own birthday and then on my birthday she was like, I hope you like your present. You know what, at least she didn't get you gum. My brother yeah. actually bought me a pack of mint gum. Ugh, can you believe this guy? I can't believe how much progress you're making. I really like Paisley. I think it's really cool that she plays an instrument. Definitely. I've had a lot of attempts, like the drums, the guitar, even the trumpet. I can't imagine you playing the trumpet. Me neither. <laughs> I can't think of a single idea to present to the student council. I don't think she should be angry about it. She should just put how honest she is in her speech. Scooters to get from class to class, and I'm like, what? Although, it is really weird that Aaliyah has no ideas and Brad's full of them. What Brad is full of is artificial air. Whatever project we choose should extend the awesomeness of our school into the city. She is going through that smoothie. I know I've said this in a previous episode, but are they seriously just allowed to leave school? <laughs> I have some facts about schools, and Maisie's going to have to guess whether they're true or false. In Finland, children start school at the age of seven. False. It's true. I've been starting school since the age of four. Are you serious right now? In Colombia, there's the school where kids go on a zip line to get to class. False. True. That's true. That's true. I need to go to that school right now. Yay! In Turin, Italy, there's a school with one student and one teacher. True. Yeah. It's actually, whoa. I didn't expect that to be true, to be honest. In the Netherlands, Children generally start school the day after their fourth birthday, so they have new kids joining throughout the first year that they've never met before. True. It is true. That's crazy. In my town, we had a place where everyone would gather for festivals, food, dancing. Leo, that's a great idea. By Aaliyah opening up and sharing her struggles, it cues Leo to help her, which could help others as well. Now, hardly anyone uses it. And as of next month, it's gonna be a car park. What? But we don't need any more parking. We need a place for people to get together. <gasps> we need a community center. Now that Leo has helped her, she's the happiest person alive. You know, everyone in every episode has like 10 different emotions per minute. Zach, you, me, library, now. Now Leah has to find a way to make this all possible. 
I feel like she will. She's perfect for the job. She's always making an effort for everybody. Uh, is it true that all the water fountains will be bubble tea? <gasps> Excellent idea. Okay, as much as I would love a bubble tea fountain, this guy is seriously overpromising. I feel like all his ideas are going to fall apart. The swimming pool will be filled with lemonade! <laughs> lemonade in a swimming pool? How does that work? You'd get really sticky. I'd get in and get straight out. It would take two baths. Not even sure where this all began. Ooh, Paisley has pie. I think Ollie admires her. I have some fake song titles, and Maisie's gonna have to try and create a line from the song. Dancing away with my sandwich. Don't we all love sandwiches with pickles? <laughs> Still thinking about Pickle Boy. <laughs> Can't get it out of my mind. You nailed it, bro! <laughs> Ouch! No one can eat these! You burnt me like a muffin. And now I'll never be soft again. <laughs> That's actually not bad. That's yeah. actually not bad. I start writing songs. <laughs> you are a genius. Dude, where's my go-kart? Dude, where's my go-kart? I need a ride. Um, eh? I can't lose to a pickle. I'd rather lose to a radish instead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't like pickles. <laughs> I like pickle boy, not pickles. Mm, I was gonna say. <laughs> there is so much drama in this episode. It's like unpeeling an orange. It just keeps getting juicier and juicier. Wait, what? <laughs> you know, she could just do the same thing with her own posters. I think she should do more. Bigger is better. Or she could just stick her posters over his. He might get angry, but he's taken up all the space. I think Zach should do it for her. After his behavior in episode three, he kind of owes her. Oop. Fellow students, just how important the annex is. I think is going to do really well. Same. I really want her to win. She's trying to make the school a better place. It's at the heart of how we connect. Brilliant! Do you remember when that horse wore a mustache? Yes, it was slay. <laughs> Intentions are important. If you have good ones, it'll get you towards doing the right thing. Brad just wants it for popularity. He just wants to see his face on the posters. That's it. Once he gets elected, he's probably not going to do anything. For this game, we're going to make our own campaign posters, and mine's going to be amazing. <laughs> OK, no homework, <laughs> no science. I really hate science. <laughs> Cheap food, sandwich, and a little self-portrait of my gorgeous, amazing self. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> really got the features down. Yeah, <laughs> and more English because I, I love English. That's a great idea! Gorgeous! It's something. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Vote for me. <laughs> Uh, is it my turn now? No maths. No science, because, you know. Stealing my ideas, I see. <laughs> Third thing we're going to do is allowed fake nails. We're allowed okay. our phones in class, I think. I mean, we are allowed our phones in class what? sometimes. I'm not, I'm not. Sometimes. It, it depends on the teacher. And then you should be allowed to have more drama and music. And finally, there should be some self-portraits with me. I see you trying to make it better than mine. No one can beat the original. I'm gonna put Love Heart, because Love Heart wins. You should vote for me, because I can count to five. And Maisie obviously can't, because she didn't put that on her board, you know? Look at all these. That's four, not number. five! This number formation, it's just, it deserves an extra Telling people moment. you can count, then saying that's five. Look, I can even do number six as well. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. <laughs> I need you to sing for me. I mean, for the NX. He definitely thinks a lot of Paisley. I think she needs to sing. It would help boost her confidence a bit more. Sometimes doing something you're good at, even if you're scared, helps you have more belief in yourself. She looks just like her mom. Your mum's song, your song. We can be your band. They didn't have to do that. They have a lot of belief in her. They're really sweet. I just wish she would have more belief in herself. I think that if she does sing, she'll do everybody proud. There's so many people counting on her and wanting her to make her dreams come true. 
We need have have needs, and I intend to meet those needs. You can tell he didn't care at all. He just wanted it because why not? There are no um holes. They don't look too pleased now. Walk away. Brad, listen to the pickle boy. Sit back down. Woo! I don't know what is. I'm really happy that Paisley decided to sing. That's really hard to do. Not even sure where this all began. Her mom would be so proud of her. She really came through for everyone. Definitely. The annex is the heart of Hartley. Aw, uh, I'm rooting for them. I'll call them Team Cuteness. I'm still rooting for Pickle Boy. <laughs> pickle, pickle, he's our guy. Eat your pickles raw or fried. I just love his energy and everything about him. Of course, just the best vibes given. Legend Pro! I love this episode. Loved it. It was about teamwork. I'm glad to see that Aaliyah's nightmare ended up in a positive dream come true. Me too. Aaliyah's idea is the winner. We love it. We love the speech. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? And Ollie keeps Paisley secret. I'd really like a hug. I feel a real connection with them after this episode. Maybe we could hang out at the school. <laughs> That's a wrap, everyone. Great job.